Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the second video I'm filming today. Um, I've decided to do like a little bit of a review video for you guys and a look like there is a dupe in it. So the review about it is going to be about the Essence Pure Nude Powder. This is actually a re like a recently released um, product. Uh, it's from Essence which is a total budget beauty brand. Um, so I was really excited when I saw this in stores and I had to get it. Um, this is the color Nude Beige and I think there were four different shades or something like that. And this is the powder. Does it remind you of anything? I thought so. Of course the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Um, I have the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus in a I loved my mine pretty well, so pretty similar, but there's another one. It really reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It also kind of, because it's a baked um, powder, kind of reminds me of the Laura Geller um, Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium. Um, I wouldn't want to say it's a dupe for this one, even though it does look a little bit similar with the swirls and stuff. The um, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation Powder actually provides a lot of coverage and is uh, a pretty nice um, color, has a pretty nice color payoff, I want to say. So, but I'm going to go back to this one, this powder, and uh, it's new beige. I have it on today. I've been using it for the last couple of days to give you a thorough review on this. Um, basically, I just use it with a brush and just blend it, like, swirl around and then put it on. This is a swatch of it, like, when it's just taken it in. Um, and then put it on my skin, but I don't think you guys can see. Um, let's see. If I... The only problem I have with this powder is that it's pretty hard to like pick a lot of product up, and um, I like to set it pro like set my foundation properly, and it's pretty hard to like get a lot of product from here. Um, I have to swirl my brush around a lot before I get any of the powder um, onto my brush because even if I pick up the powder, um, um, I just use my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and if, if I just press it in like this, there's a, a tiny a bit of powder on here. Um, there's not a lot which if I put it in my MAC, my like skin finish, if I put it, press it down, there's a lot more product in here. Um, so that's a, a huge difference for me that this picks up a lot more powder and then this just it's a lo little bit harder to work with. Um, I have to go over, um, go in it with my brush a couple more times and then go over my face a couple more times than with the um, MAC Milai Skin Finish. Um, but then again, this one is a lot more expensive than this one. Like the price difference of these products is um, basically you can buy 9 to 10 powders of these for one of these. Um, so if you are a YouTuber or a beauty lover that's just started to try out um, products, I would recommend this one instead of this one because this one is a pretty expensive product. It's not as cheap as you would think, but um, you can basically buy like 10 of the 10 of the essence powders for one of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes. Um, but I would say um, MAC uh, Mineralize Skin Finish is just much easier to work with. The package is really simple. There's no puff in it or a mirror, so when you take this into like with you in your bag, you kind of need a mirror or a puff or a powder brush in your bag um, when you want to reapply this and touch up. It says on here, 0 0.24 ounces, and in here is 0 0.35 ounces. So in the Mac Mineralized Skin Fish, there's a lot more product. But then again, it's a lot more expensive. I do like um, the packaging on this? So it has a matte um, black. Um, packaging and then a clear um, cap, well clear, I don't know what, what you call this, 
Um, so that's really nice. It's just really sleek and it's pretty slim so it doesn't take up too much space in your makeup collection. I um, do like this. I think it is a pretty good dupe for the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish um, considering like the shade and stuff like that and how it looks like in a pan and I still think this is pretty good. It's a cheap product and I think it's totally worth um, the buck to try this one out and I love it. So if you have any questions or if you, if you have any requests on um, something you want me to do a review on, let me know in the comments down below. If you've tried this powder of essence before, let me know and let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to su uh, comment, subscribe and like this video um, if you want to see more of these reviews. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!